Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing another drugstore video and we have another nothing over $5. So I've done several videos like this before. I've done like a few $10 ones, nothing over $6, nothing over seven. And I did a nothing over five like three years ago and I thought, it's time for an updated version. So we love a good budget. We love products that perform like high end at a really great price. So I have lots of really great products here today and we're doing a neutral look today. I just have to tell you guys straight up. If you guys want some colorful looks, check out some of my last videos from the past couple weeks. I have been playing with color, but I need some neutral colors today in my life. If you guys love drugstore videos, definitely check out my drugstore playlist. I have tons of affordable and drugstore makeup videos with my favorite products and just really great products that are super affordable. And make sure you subscribe also if you have not already for more content every single week. I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely grab a snack and let's get into it. All right, brows first, of course, forever. Brows first forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. This one is in the shade dark brown. It just looks like this. And we're rocking the natural nails. And it is pretty nice to be able to like do stuff and not have to worry about really long nails. I mean, I can function with long nails. Like I feel like I can text better with long nails and I can type better than with like these nails, but it is nice to kind of go natural a little bit sometimes. And I just realized I forgot to put my ring on because I was putting so much lotion on before filming because my hands have been so dry lately. This is a really nice pencil and it does glide on really nicely. It is super, super tiny. So I think it's really great for outlining or filling in your brows if you wanna like really mimic brow hairs. I love brow pencils like this. Doesn't come with a spoolie, but I mean, this is like three bucks, so it's fine. And I have no polish on here because I just painted my toenails today. Cute. All right, then for pomade, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Brow Cream. This one is in the shade Espresso. I know I've used this a lot, but this is genuinely one of my favorite brow creams. And honestly, there's not that many at the drugstore that are $5 and under. A lot of them are like seven, $8. So we're gonna go in with this. Let me know down below what your go-to brow products are from the drugstore. I feel like a lot of brands have like good drugstore brow products. Like I really don't ever feel the need to spend a lot of money on brow stuff, especially anymore, because I think like every brand nowadays has like a pomade and a good pencil, so let me know your faves. Okay, I gotta clean up the brows. You guys already know, so I'm gonna just do this really quick off camera. Um, this is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer, another product that I've used in like every single one of these videos because it really is like one of the best concealer in a jar that is super affordable. I use this in my everyday makeup routine because it's just that good. Okay, now jumping into eyes, I'm gonna start off by priming. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This is very similar to like a MAC Painterly Paint Pot kind of thing. It's a little bit more of like a thicker primer, but I personally really like it. And one of my favorite things about not having nails is being able to do this. Ah, applying product with your fingertips is like so satisfying and I don't really ever do that anymore because my nails are typically really long and they kind of just get in the way, but this is nice. And I love applying my skincare products with my bare hands and not have to worry about anything getting in my nails or like underneath of them. It's great. But this is a good primer because it's a little bit thicker. You do have to kind of take your time to like blend it, but it definitely gets the job done. I like how it cancels everything out. It's not like a super tacky base. It dries down very quickly. So I do really like that. You don't have to set this. Now for eyes, another e.l.f. product. You guys, I talked about these in my favorites video, but they are just that good. These little e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow palettes are just like everything that you need in an eyeshadow palette and more. They have so many. I actually want to go online and order more of the colors that they have. Have. I have three of them and I just can't get enough. So this is truffle, carnival candy, and pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna use probably maybe a mixture of all three of these today, we'll see, but I'm just obsessed. They're so pretty, so pigmented. I think these are the best e.l.f. eyeshadows that they have. Like the formula to me is better than anything that e.l.f. has originally came out with. I think these are the best, so. We love that. And they're the cheapest, which is amazing. So I'm gonna start off with the Truffles palette and I'm gonna just take this shade right here and I'm gonna take that right in my crease just as my neutral blending color. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's more of like a cool tone brown, but it's really pretty. 
Picking up some of this brown right here, I just spot cleaned my brush, but it's stained. But this is a clean brush, and I'm gonna just take that shade. I'm gonna apply that right on the outer crease. Anybody else like procrastinating on cleaning their makeup brushes while being at home? Because same. So pigmented, you just need a little bit. Like I'm barely dipping my brush in because you guys know I'm so heavy handed, I'm trying to like work on that. I'm gonna use like a fluffier brush to really fluff that color in there and make it look a little bit more seamless and blended. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this palette. I'm going to take this matte cream shade right here on the end. So pretty. It's like a skin tone color. And I'm just going to be applying that in the inner part of my lid. I'm using a tiny concealer brush to do this. Really trying to concentrate that shade and just pack it on. Okay, it kind of looks like I have already shimmer on my lid. Maybe I accidentally dipped a little bit of shimmer when I was blending out some of the matte. So we're going to switch gears a little bit. I wanna keep this like kind of cool tone little vibe going on on the lid. So I'm gonna go into the truffle palette and I'm just gonna take the shimmery, silvery, taupey color. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid instead of the matte shade. Cause it's not really as matte as what I want it to be because I think I mixed something different, but that's pretty. So we're gonna just rock this. And these do apply really nicely with your finger as you can see. You don't even need to spray your brush. That's how pigmented they are. Okay, that's cute. We'll go with it. I had a different vision. I was gonna do like a matte look, but yeah, I think that works. I like it. Okay, yeah. I need to clean my brushes. That's the uh, message that I got from me trying to do my eyeshadow today. I'm gonna do a teeny little bit of black with a little pencil brush. This black is so pigmented, you guys like very so i'm gonna just kind of take that just a little bit like did that even do anything i don't know but it's just so black i don't want to do too much and then take a little bit more brown okay i'm gonna do a coat of mascara and i'm gonna use the one that i just know that i love that works Essence Lash Princess. I know I use this a lot, but this one is just the one that I swear by that's $5. Essence in general has really great mascaras. This is just the one that I currently have that I love. Really great for the top and bottom lashes. It's not clumpy, and I mean, it's a $5 mascara. The fact that they have so many to choose from is amazing. So I'm gonna just do a coat. It's just such a good formula. I just cannot get enough. Like Essence does mascaras really well. Probably the best mascaras at the drugstore. I'm gonna do lashes today. I'm gonna use these e.l.f. faux mink lashes in the style drama queen. So pretty, so fluffy. I wear these very often and I wear these a lot without eyeshadow too and they're very pretty. Um, they're not too dramatic. Let me just show you. So let's see, they're a little fluffy, a little dark, but they're not too much, so they're perfect. So I'm gonna just put the glue on, which I use the Kiss Lash Glue, like of course, in every single video because I swear by the Kiss Lash Glue. It's like the best lash glue you will ever use. So I like to put the glue on, let it dry for a little bit, and then usually move into the next part of the makeup routine just to kind of keep everything going and just, it saves a little bit of time. It's my little trick that I always do, especially when I'm filming. I hate to just like sit here, so I'd rather just uh, keep the show on the go. So I'm gonna start off with primer. I think, do I have a primer spray? Hold on, give me a minute. Oh, wait, I do. I have the Essence Prime Studio HD Hydrating Primer Spray. I'm just gonna spritz my face. It says it has coconut water in it. I do smell a little bit of the coconut. Oh, I have a little scratch right here. I don't know what that's from. No idea. It kinda looks like a cat scratch, but I definitely don't have cats, so I don't know what that's from. Let's have a little dewy moment on the skin today. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer. This one is one of my favorites because it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's so pretty though. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, like literally a little bit. And I'm gonna just massage this into my skin. My skin actually has been a little bit on the dry side lately, so this is gonna give me a little bit of dew. I'm not gonna do 
do too much on the forehead because my forehead does get oily. It's not really that bad lately though, but this is so pretty. It doesn't have any glitter in it. It just really makes your skin look so fresh. Like you're just glowing, just like naturally. It's so pretty. I think this is really pretty too if maybe you don't have a lot of makeup on and then you just add this on, it makes your skin look super healthy. So I've been a fan of that for years. Today for foundation, I'm gonna use the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This one is in the shade Neutral Tan. It might be a little too dark, maybe but we're gonna make it work. Packaging on this is beautiful. The fact that this foundation is so affordable blows my mind because I mean, it's like nicer packaging than some high-end foundations. It's great. I actually haven't used this in a little bit, but from what I can remember, this lasted a really long time on my skin. So I'm just gonna top this on everywhere. And let's blend this out. I'm using my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Oh, I think this is a good match. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I love that extra dew. I love a good, like, dewy foundation. This looks like it has really good coverage, too. Let me see what the claims on it are. Oh, it's medium to full coverage. Yeah, I can definitely see that. It's really, really pretty. It's like a pretty medium coverage. Ew, I have stuff on my lips. Gross. I can't believe this is so affordable. You can get Believe Beauty, by the way, at Dollar General. Don't underestimate makeup that is on the more affordable side. Like just because it's more affordable doesn't mean it's not good. So now for concealer, I am gonna do, I think I'm gonna mix because this one looks a little bit too light for me right now. This one's from LA Girl, their Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This is like a classic favorite. I feel like I always forget about this concealer and it's really, really good. So I'm gonna mix a little bit. I'm gonna do a little Little bit of the wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade light medium beige i want a little bit of light like brightness today so i'm gonna do some of this and then the la girl one right over top the wet and wild one is pretty though it's a very fresh natural everyday concealer so if you're like looking for something like for every day the wet and wild one's good hold on let me put on my lashes very quickly love 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 invisible band easy to apply super fluffy thank you elf like i really appreciate you right now this, these are great i love them so much so see this concealer is more of like a natural under eye kind of thing so i want a little bit of brightness so i'm just going to use some of the la one just right in there right on top this one is in the shade of porcelain which is too light on its own but it's a good mixer shade Oh, I like that combo. Mm -hmm. It's so nice using classic products. And a lot of these I already had in my collection already. So it's nice just to like revisit old favorites, especially products that are so affordable. Ooh. Ooh. Five dollars and under, like what? I don't think anybody would know that everything on my face is like each product, five dollars and under. Like you just, you wouldn't know. Let's brighten this up a little bit more and set everything. So I'm gonna use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is one of my favorite natural brightening powders because it's not too much, but you're still gonna get a little bit of light under the eyes. So I'm using this brush from Olimar Cosmetics. It's actually called the Brightening Brush. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to set under the eyes. And I'm basically gonna set the T-zone also because that's where I did the concealer. Even though it's a brightening powder, I'm just gonna take a big powder brush. This one's from Flower Beauty. And I'm just gonna very lightly take some of that and just kind of dust it on the rest of my face. Just to kind of set everything. I do this very often. Just because it's a brightening powder doesn't mean you can't use it as like a pressed powder. Now what I'm gonna do is a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use this one from Amuse Cosmetics. This is actually from Shop Miss A. And their website has a lot of products that are only a dollar. This is one of them. For a while, I believe all of their products were a dollar, but they have stuff on there that's like $2, $3, $5, like different palettes that are $10, you know. But for the most part, a lot of their stuff is only a dollar, which is amazing. So this is like a really nice warm tone bronzer, which I love. So I'm gonna take this just to add a little bit of color back to the skin. Look at that. If you have not shopped on Shop Miss A, definitely recommend it. I believe the shipping does take a little bit of time, but I mean, it's worth it. Their products are bomb. Um, yeah, this bronzer is perfection. It's really good. It's not muddy or like too warm or anything. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that right on my nose as well. 
blush, I'm going to use the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush. I actually really love these. I have a couple of the other colors, but this is more of like a bronzy kind of blush. This one's in Just Glowing. Super natural, very bronzy, very pretty, and just like... It's gonna give you like that light flush, which I think is perfect with this look today. It's kind of like a cool tone blush too, so I feel like it's perfect with the eyes. Has a little bit of a sheen to it too, so it's really pretty on the cheeks. A little bit on the nose. And then for highlighter, I have another Dollar product. This is the LA Colors highlighter, and this is actually from Dollar Tree, and you guys, this is incredible. It is so beaming and so buttery. This one's in the shade Shine Bright. I talked about this in my Dollar Tree video that I did a few months back, and it's genuinely one of the best highlighters ever, and it's a dollar. Let that sink in for a little bit. I'm gonna just use this brush from Amazon, actually, and I'm just gonna pop that right on my cheekbone. Look at that. And I'm like doing this ever so lightly because I'm not into like a really intense glow anymore, but it is crazy. LA Colors, I believe, is actually a sister brand to LA Girl. And it's great. I really like their products. The skin is looking so good. Like I'm actually shocked right now because I haven't used a lot of these products, like I said, in a little bit. And I'm starting to like use a lot of stuff that I already have in my collection, like older products. And I'm just like blown away. Oh, I forgot to set my brows. I'm going to use the AOA Studio Go Brow Gel. This is also another dollar product, and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. Should we do lips first or lower lashes first? You're right, lips. Okay. I'm going to use the Sugar and Spice Lip Liner from LA Girl, the Perfect Precision Lip Liners. I pretty much use a lot of the same lip liners, and honestly, there aren't that many at the drugstore that are five dollars and under i think only these and nyx i believe and milani i think elf too i think so but i just love these formulas so much so it's like if it's not broken don't fix it then i'm going to use the believe beauty satin crush lipstick in moroccan spice it's like a really pretty nude it kind of matches the lip liner So creamy. Mm. And this is really comfortable on its own. You could just leave it like that, but I'm gonna just nude it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu High Shine Lipstick. This is just like super pigmented gloss in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. I'm gonna take that right in the center. Now we can finish up the lower lashes. So I am gonna actually just take the same LA Colors highlighter first to start off. And I'm just going to take that right in the inner corner of my eyes for a little bit of brightness in there. And then I'm going to go back into the Truffle palette. Basically going to use these two shades. And I'm just going to drag that right on the lash line. On the waterline, I'm going to use the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Champagne. It's like a really pretty nude, but it almost has like a sheen to it. So it's gorgeous. I feel like it goes well with the lid shade and the inner corner highlight. And then going back to the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence, I'm going to just coat the lower lashes. And then to set my makeup, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water to just set everything into place. And we're done. Can we please have a round of applause for, once again, drugstore makeup? Thank you. So I'm pleasantly surprised with everything that I used today. I mean, a lot of these products, well, all of them I've used. There was nothing in here that was like brand new, but there were a couple things in here that I hadn't used in a little bit that I am just like pleasantly surprised with, especially the foundation and concealer combo. I think that is like beautiful. Like it literally blew me off my seat. I love these products. I think they're great. And I love videos like this because it just goes to show you don't really need to spend a lot of money to get a really bomb makeup look. So hopefully this inspired you to go through your makeup and find hidden gems that are $5 and under. And if you guys have any other product recommendations that I didn't mention in today's video, let me know because like, come on, we all love affordable makeup. So leave me a comment. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.